Hello, Facebook. Hope you're having a glorious Monday. Are you having a glorious Monday? I am. So, today we're going to be talking expansion. So, as an entrepreneur myself, sometimes it's really hard to let go of kind of like the baby of your business. Um, John and I have seen this firsthand in our business, like letting go of certain responsibilities that we're used to, of things in our um, business that are just like near and dear to our heart. For instance, like our website. Recently transitioning that to our developer was a little bit tough for John just because he built that site from the ground up at the very beginning. It was like, ah, is he going to do as good a job as I am? Probably better. So we're talking today about kind of letting go of those fears and trusting the process that you will, by delegation, be able to grow and really expand your business in the right ways. If you try and focus on doing everything yourself throughout your business, your life, anything, it's not going to work out for you. You're going to be constantly in overwhelm. You're going to not be happy. Um, You're not going to be able to expand and grow your business as you want to. There's a lot of people that I see every day who, you know, either ask me questions or confide in me and they say, you know, Melissa, like I've been working so hard and it's been almost two years now and like my business isn't growing. Well, have you delegated any of those tasks is one of my questions. So really, um, one of the ways that I figure out how and when to delegate is I weigh um, how much something is like how, (laughs) Clint, thanks for the love, man. Um, I... I think about basically what my hourly wage is and what something like that would cost me. So you can delegate things as simple as a house cleaner or um, somebody to do your laundry. Like really anything that you can do to take things off of your plate that are not necessarily like serving you or need to be done by you, you need to start offsetting to somebody else. So to give you an example... Um, Just a few months ago, John and I evaluated that, uh, like, we figured out what our hourly salary was. We determined what it was, and we evaluated what activities we could take off of our plate that were no longer serving us and were in the best interest of our time, and how and who we could delegate those tasks to. So, for instance, one was our cleaning lady. She charges about twenty hours a week, twenty dollars an hour. She's freaking amazing. She cleans the apartment ten times better than I would. And when I think about her hourly rate versus my hourly rate, it just makes super clear mathematical sense to delegate that task to her. I'm honestly ready to hire her to start chopping my vegetables because I realize that I spend like two to three hours a week chopping my vegetables and at $20 an hour, I could pay her to do it and she's probably 10 times as fast as I am and potentially um, better at the task. And just unloading that could free up two to three hours of my week just in chopping vegetables. So think about it and get smart. The reason I'm coming to you today with this message is because John and I are really excited to hire yet another employee um, who started today, which is awesome. I spent most of my day onboarding her and it was really exciting, obviously scary, you know, to unload a bunch of the tasks that I'm typically managing and that I'm used to doing on a daily basis. But at the same time, it felt really liberating. Like I feel as though as soon as she's up and running, she's going to take the, take ownership of those tasks that I've been working on. Hey, Nance. Um, and she's probably going to do like 10 times as better, like 10 times better of a job than I have been because I've been overwhelmed and overloaded with the other work on our plate. So it's not about like trying to just fit everything in and jamming everything in life into like this little box that we have for ourselves and then living in a constant state of overwhelm. It's like how do we get ourselves a bigger plate? So instead of just blindly and meaninglessly continuing to just do everything that's on your agenda, really think about what you can be delegating. At this point, John and I have built a really exceptional team And we are leaving ourselves with really important, impactful activities. We are leaving ourselves the time to really serve our clients, to be here for them whenever they need. We're allowing ourselves time to be out in the field, which means holding open houses, checking out properties. Um, We are allowing ourselves time to meet with clients when they need us. So buyer's meetings, listing appointments, 
um, just meeting to go over paperwork and go through disclosures. Like those are more important priorities than, for instance, updating our website. So, so far to give you guys an example of the progress we've made this year alone, um, at the beginning of January, we hired a virtual assistant who's in the Philippines. She is amazing. She's rocking my socks off and I just love her so much. She works so hard for us and she has taken a lot of our, that's right, Nancy, I am a fierce mermaid later. I feel ya. Um, she's taken a lot of like our back end work. So not necessarily client facing. She updates our website. She updates our spreadsheets. She does special projects for us. She helped transition our entire 2000 plus contact CRM over to a new one in January. And that was a heck of a project. She rocked it. Um, she, uh, then recently we, in January, we also hired a marketing team. They are kicking ass for us. They're a three, soon to be five person team. So their team is also growing and they're doing so much marketing for us. Granted, yes, they cost money, but the amount of space and, um, space they've given our schedule and things that they've taken off of our plate has been astronomical for us. So now they're handling all the marketing and they're doing what they do best. They're more efficient at it and they're freaking killing it. So it's amazing. Um, we've also brought on a designer developer through that marketing team and he's been managing our website. He just completely redid the website, which would have taken us probably 10 times as long. And he did a phenomenal job. It took him like a month to do all of that work where it would have probably taken us six months and continually been backburnered. I recently, and then we just brought today on our client relationship manager, which I am so excited about because she's just going to completely crush managing and maintaining our client relationships. Basically, when I'm in a meeting and can't answer my phone, she's going to be able to do that. So it's not taking us away from our clients. It's simply supporting our clients on a totally like amazing extra level so that they know that we're always here and always available to support them and no matter what have somebody to answer our phone like if that's not awesome I don't know what is and she's going to be calling and leaving messages and making sure that every client knows that they're well taken care of like that to me is just priceless so and recently I have a side project beatsebo.com I'm starting a website and it's been on my back burner now for four months and I realized that was completely unacceptable. The project is at a standstill because of me, and I just haven't had the capacity to take it on. Well, I outsourced it for 50 bucks an hour. Like, you just have to be smart and evaluate where you could potentially delegate. And then one key thing is you don't want to micromanage. So have faith that the person you've trusted and hired, so you should go through a rigorous interview process and make sure that whoever you're bringing on is an impactful person, passionate about what you're doing, excited to join your team, even our videographer, that's another guy we've outsourced to, he, when we told him, like, granted, he maybe wasn't the most experienced. He um, was, you know, definitely not the cheapest, but he was for sure the most enthusiastic. He was like, you guys are doing amazing things, and I want to be a part of it. Like, tell me how I can be on this team. And I was like, he's our guy, because he was already invested and enrolled in what we were doing, and it was incredible. Like, the, the synergy that we had with him was just the right fit. So just trust the process and know that, you know, when you go through the interview process for certain people and you take the time to really evaluate how they're going to benefit you and your team, that you're making the right decision, that you can trust them with that workload. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out and you need to move on to somebody else. But just trust the process. Don't micromanage because nobody likes that. That shit sucks. And um, just know that by delegating, you're opening up the space to really embrace new business, expand your business, and just excel and crush it because that's where we all want to be, right? So I hope you have an amazing rest of your Monday. I love you guys. It's been an insane day for us, but I am just so blessed to have the amount of work that's on my plate, and I'm so happy to be delegating some of it. It's been a great day. Love you guys.